Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tough Gaming A16 laptop. And this thing is packing some pretty good performance because when it comes to the CPU, it's got the Ryzen AI9 HX370 paired up with an NVIDIA GPU. And with desktop prices kind of on the rise, I figured we'd go ahead and take a look at a mobile system here. I've always been a big fan of these tough laptops. In fact, my main laptop is a 2023 A16. So uh, checking the upgrade out here will be pretty nice. And given the fact that this is powered by the Ryzen AI9 HX370, I know it's going to put down some really great CPU performance. 12 cores, 24 threads here, and uh, through Armory Crate, we can actually take the TDP all the way up to 90 watts on that thing. In this video, we're going to take a look at the overall unit. I'll run some benchmarks, and then of course, we'll jump right into some gaming here. But before we get into it, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Micro Center, and right now they're running their Monitor Madness sale. So they've got a ton of different monitors over on their website, really deep discounts. And I've actually kind of sifted through here and found one that I personally wouldn't mind having, mainly due to the price only coming in at $99. And this is a 27 inch 1080p, 120 Hertz IPS panel from Asus, one millisecond response time, adaptive sync compatible. And at 99 bucks with a $50 discount here, this is actually a pretty decent deal. But again, they've got a ton of different panels on sale, so you can probably find something you'd like, and I'll leave a link for this in the description. So the unit we have here is known as the ASUS Tough Gaming A16. It's the new 2025 version. And like I mentioned, we've got that AMD Ryzen AI9 HX370. This also has 32 gigabytes of RAM and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070. Obviously, it's a laptop variant. Eight gigs of VRAM over there. And since this is the A16, we've got a 16 inch display. It's an IPS with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. It supports Nvidia's G-Sync and it does up to 165 Hertz. The cooling system on this model is pretty interesting. It's using the ArcFlow fans. And with this, we get four exhaust vents and five heat pipes. Taking a look at the IO over here on the left hand side, we've got a gigabit ethernet port, full size HDMI, USB 4, USB-C, which is a 10 gig port, a full size USB 3.2 port, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And over on the right hand side, we've got another free full size USB. So with something like this being a 16 inch laptop, we've got a pretty big keyboard here. It does have a number pad over on the right hand side. It is LED backlit, it's just a single zone, and we've got a pretty massive trackpad here, which actually feels really good. I do like the G-Sync display, and again, this does 165 hertz, so it's super smooth, especially with eSports games, when you can reach those kind of frame rates with the performance we're putting out here. And speaking of performance, we do have access to Armory Crate, and with this, we've got a few different performance modes that we can use, uh, Windows, Silent, Performance, Turbo, and Manual. Again, like I mentioned, we can go up to 90 watts with this HX370. And first and foremost, I mean, this is a gaming laptop, but it's also a Copilot Plus laptop. So we do have the Copilot key right here. And I actually want to move into my game capture so we can get a better look at everything. I want to show this off real quick and then we'll jump into some gaming. Getting into Copilot, we can do a lot of great stuff with AI using this. With this, it can help write emails, letters. It can summarize books and movies. Uh, it can even generate images. Let's go ahead and ask it a question. So a new movie, kind of want to know what it's about gives us a nice little breakdown right here. Moving down, gives us some extra questions that we may have not thought to ask. What themes does Mickey 17 explore? And it's gonna use AI to break this down for us. But I gotta say, one of my favorite things with Copilot is image generation. Create an image of a cute space cat. Let's see what we've got going on. It's gonna generate the image right here for us. I think it's a little too cute, so we're gonna make it kind of mean. And it's still pretty cute, but it looks like we've got an extra arm here. Either way, Copilot can help out in a bunch of different situations, especially helping you proofread or breaking down complex text. It's uh, really up to you how you wanna use it. But again, first and foremost, this is sold as a gaming laptop because after all, we've got that RTX 4070 with the 12 core, 24 thread Ryzen HX 370 CPU. Now it's time to get into some gaming, and the first one we have here is Cyberpunk 2077. We're at 1440p Ultra with DLSS set to auto. 
Remember, this laptop is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display, so it would be 2560 by 1600, but since I'm connected to a 16 by 9 monitor, it's a little hard to go to that aspect ratio. Either way, this RTX 4070 paired up with that HX 370 is performing quite well. And we do have a dynamic boost of plus 25 watts with the 4070 here. So it will do up to around 125 watts. And right now we're seeing an average of around 73 FPS, but we can get more out of it by enabling DLSS frame gen. So here it is with frame gen turned on. We're still at 1440p ultra. And instead of getting an average of around 73 FPS, we're now getting an average of around 110 FPS with this system, just using frame gen. We're still at 1440p ultra, and it does feel really good like this. Now, of course, there are some people out there that just don't like frame gen, but keep in mind, I mean, you don't need it with this. I just kind of wanted to show what it would do with it enabled. And yeah, it can really raise that frame rate. Next one we have is GTA 5 Enhanced, 1440p, ray tracing high, and I just kind of left it right here because it was getting such a good frame rate with it. We don't need any DLSS, we're getting over 100 FPS with this system. And at night, it's especially noticeable that we're using ray tracing in GTA 5. Next, we've got Spider-Man 2 at 1440p, high with DLSS set to quality. We're not using frame gen, and if you wanted to, I mean, you could get way up there with it, but we didn't need it with the RTX 4070 in this laptop. We're seeing an average of around 98 FPS. Okay, so this is one of my favorite PlayStation ports, God of War Ragnarok, 1440p Ultra, and I am using DLSS frame gen. So if you don't wanna use frame gen, you can go down to high settings and add a little bit of DLSS. I'd say balanced, you can see an average of around 80 FPS with it. But with frame gen, you can see we're well over 100 FPS, and this is kind of an intense battle. So while you're just doing some exploring, this actually jumps up into the 130s. And the final game we're gonna be testing here is Monster Hunter Wilds. And if you've tested this on any system, you know how hard it can be. I had to drop this down to 1080p high with DLSS set to balance. Now that's just if I didn't wanna use frame gen. It will run at 1440p or a bit higher at high with some frame gen. But without it, we're seeing an average of around 86 FPS. This game does need more optimizations. It's still a lot of fun to play like it is but it would be nice if they could flesh out some of those issues we're seeing on systems. So yeah, overall, with the ASUS Tough Gaming A16, this thing is putting down some great performance and I kind of expected it would be, We've got those 12 cores with 24 threads up to 90 watts on that Ryzen AI chip paired up with the RTX 4070 laptop edition that can do up to 125 watts. So yeah, you're definitely going to be able to game on this machine. And again, I do want to give Micro Center a big shout out for sponsoring this video. They've got a brand new store opening up in Santa Clara. And if you head over to their website right now and create a new account, you can get a free coupon for a 128 gigabyte flash drive. But really, when it comes down to it, if you're looking for anything tech related, Micro Center will definitely have you covered. Links for everything will be in the description. If you're interested in learning a little more about the Tough Gaming A16, I will leave links down below. And if there's anything else you want to see running on this laptop, just let me know in the comments. It could be more games or a different operating system. I wouldn't mind coming back to this and just kind of go into that manual mode, taking it up as high as we can on the CPU and GPU to see what we can really get out of this thing. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, make sure you hit that like button and think about subscribing so you know when I post the next one. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.